Hello guys, this is Pawn from Ambedotronics. So today in this video tutorial, I'll show you how we can install LAMP setup in our Ubuntu machine. So basically, uh, if I talk about what is LAMP, so it's like uh, the combination of uh, Linux, Apache server, and uh, MySQL, and then uh, you have uh, the last P for PHP. So these are the four th uh, thing, four character combination uh, we have for LAMP. Now uh, the thing is, uh, if to install LAMP, uh, we need uh, to uh, perform certain commands, and uh, we will uh, do it through our uh, terminal itself. So it's a very easy step. So without wasting our time, we will just uh, directly go to our terminal and uh, install start installing uh, LAMP setup. Uh, before I'll, uh, I'll I'll just start uh, installation of LAMP. I'll tell you one thing like uh, why we we need to use uh, LAMP. Basically, LAMP is uh, is very good uh, when we combine these things, and it it, uh, it is very helpful to host our uh, single website or uh, multiple websites uh, uh, in in production or uh, to I mean for stable production uh, you can use. Uh, uh, this uh, tool so it's a very helpful thing so okay so we will just go to our terminal and here uh, we have uh, already written uh, those uh, commands so we will just uh, uh, one by one we will copy and paste it and execute it so that i will not uh, type in again and again so uh, here is our uh, this text editor so this is the thing uh, and uh, this text editor is here in the left side so first command is command is sudo apt update first we have to give this one control c and in the linux terminal you have to uh, paste uh, for uh, that the keyboard shortcut for pasting is control shift v so uh, shift also you have to put so sudo apt update so it will hit enter so here it, it will ask password so we will give our password and it will just uh, uh, install uh, for uh, for the software, it will just upgrade our uh, 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 setup so that we will uh, install all the things necessary to uh, without uh, any uh, problem. Okay, so now the second uh, thing is our uh, Apache server. So we will just uh, copy this thing, and here we will just uh, paste with Control Shift V, and uh, here we will just hit Enter again. Now it will ask uh, uh, to like uh, after this operation, this uh, uh, this much amount of additional disk space will be used. So okay, we will allow it. Uh, uh, this uh, thing is uh, necessary uh, to ask uh, because uh, your disk space is used. Whenever uh, you your disk space is used, that's why these things will be asked. So we will simply have to click uh, get right Y and hit enter. And uh, as soon as we will give Y, then it is just. Uh, uh, getting uh, it starts getting installed so uh, it will take a while so yeah we have finished so now we have completed the uh, uh, Apache installation as, as well now if I'll just uh, go to like uh, if config and I'll, I'll just uh, get my uh, IP so uh, uh, so first uh, uh, not found it is telling okay so we will just uh, give uh, this uh, uh, command and we will pip, we will just uh, uh, give this command and we will uh, get the if config uh, thing here and we will get uh, see the ip so first we will clear the screen and if config here we go we have the ip address now this is the ip address of our system my system 192.168.0.105 so if i just give this ip uh to my uh system and that is 192.168.0.105 and if i'll give enter so here you can see uh uh, we will see the default Apache page uh, and this is the default Apache page and now if I just uh, do one thing like uh, uh, in, in maybe in your case if you will not see this page uh, I mean uh, you will get like uh, your site uh, um, is not reachable or some kind of message is coming so you have to allow the firewall so in my case firewall is allowed so if I'll just 
uh, click on this uh, copy this command and in the file just paste it here and UFW stands for uncomplicated fire, uh, firewall and uh, here um, we will just hit uh, enter to give uh, uh, complete uh, so here we will basically allow apache full and we'll hit enter so here you can see rules updated rules updated for v6 also now if i'll just check the status so here we go and uh, here so here you can see okay so basically uh, it was inactive uh, that's why uh, from all um, everywhere i'm getting the traffic that's why my uh, apache uh, ip i mean apache page was uh, open uh, because, uh, when i hit this ip so we have to enable it so we can enable it by sudo ufw enable uh, now here you can see firewall is firewall is active and enabled on system startup so now if i'll just clear and uh, and if i'll give this command so here you can see the status of our uh, you uh, you have w so apache full we have already given access so uh, here you can see the action is allow and from anywhere anywhere uh, for v6 also so this is the way uh, we can do uh, we can do now and uh, now we can install uh, mysql server mysql is a very good uh, uh, thing uh, server uh, basically uh, to uh, uh, store uh, database um, so here uh, what we'll do we'll just uh, paste it and uh, We'll give this command mysql and we'll hit uh, give y and it will ask so i'll it will take a while and mysql is also installed So it is just about to install. And before that, if uh, that installation is complete, uh, going going where? So we will also uh, see we can uh, update this page also. Uh, here you can see Apache to default page. If you want to uh, update uh, this, this page, so I mean anything you can put on, put it on here. So uh, how you can do that? Uh, you can just go to uh, here and here you just need to go to sudo nano uh, slash var slash www slash ht ml uh, first we will just go to like cd and here we go and then ls uh, here we have the index.html file so clear and uh, sudo nano uh, you can also use vim editor any, any editor you can open so uh, editor you can open so uh, that uh, index uh, dot html file is only uh, the, the the thing through which uh, those uh, things we are we are seeing so here we can uh, change uh, anything uh, like um, suppose i want to change the title so here we can select the uh, 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 just search the title and we will update it okay so now here we will change uh, this thing so uh, if we will just change here let's say ambitotronics i will write and uh, if i'll just uh, save it then uh, after uh, we need to just uh, restart apache and uh, if i'll just reload this page then this or this uh, title will be changed and uh, here we go i'm just uh, reloading this page so here you can see ambitotronics default page so you can edit this html page so now uh, uh, we have uh, also installed my sql and uh, if you want to uh, see this uh, the, the mysql database and uh, um, i mean uh, console uh, so if we'll just i'll just go to my sudo my first we can see the mysql service so sudo system ctl status 
MySQL service. Okay, so here you can see uh, uh, it's uh, active and uh, currently uh, server is operational and uh, this is the thing you can see here. Okay, we'll just uh, uh, come out of this thing and if I'll just, I'll just go to the console of this so sudo uh, mysql here you can see uh, this is our console and here uh, we can uh, put our database query so I'll not go in the detail of this thing because this is not a SQL mysql tutorial I want to tell so this is basically a lamp server set lamp setup so how uh, lamp stack we can uh, set up in our Ubuntu machine that I am telling here so we will just quit this thing so uh, we can uh, use uh, give exit command or either quit so I'll give in quit so here we go quit and then uh, I'm, I'm just come out of this thing console now I'm just clear in this first okay so uh, basically we will now install uh, PHP uh, the lamp the fourth uh, component of our, of, of our lamp um, stack so here we will just paste it we can come out of this uh, uh, thing also uh, in this thing. so now we can just simply control shift b and paste it so here we go it will install php and uh, other two packages as well uh, lib apache to what uh, php and php mysql so i'll just fast forward this thing for you okay now if we want to see the version of php so simply we have to uh, give command php uh, version v and here you can see php 8.3.6 uh, we are getting now we uh, uh, we can uh, also do one more thing like uh, uh, sometimes uh, we uh, required a web interface of our uh, mysql uh, database so for that php my admin is also php admin also we can install it's uh, basically uh, optional uh, it's uh, we cannot uh, say it's part of lamp but uh, php my admin is uh, very useful when you want to see uh, things on uh, like in a in a web interface so what you can do for that you uh, simply you have to give this command sudo app uh, install php my admin and i'm just uh, doing control c here and control shift v and if i just hit enter so now it will just ask me to it uh, like 85.4 mb of additional disk space will be used so we'll give y and hit enter and this way uh, it will just install php my admin now so uh, we need to uh, take a web server to configure automatically so we'll take apache 2 right now so uh, we'll take poke, hit ok so it will take a while I'll just uh, fast forward, forward this thing for you. So, uh, configure database for PS modern with uh, DB convict comment. So, we'll say yes and here mysql application password for php admin so by default we can give a root and password i am also giving root right now you can give any other password also so let's hit ok so this is the thing and uh, now okay so now php admin installed now we will just uh, go to uh, our browser and here uh, this is our uh, 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 ubuntu uh, this default page and we ronix we had uh, updated our uh, html file so that's why this thing is came now if i just want to see the php my admin so we have to give php my admin and we have to hit enter okay the requested url was not found on this server uh, so uh, for that what we can do we can do we have uh, we have to update uh, we have to include the include 
in uh, in the configuration file of, 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 of apache if i just uh, give this command now and the last one uh, second last one and here if i just uh, paste it and here if i just go to the bottom of this file so here basically we need to add this uh, apache con so we will include it okay and why enter now uh, we can uh, restart uh, our apache 2 so sudo system ctl restart apache 2 okay so here we go now uh, if i just go to uh, my web browser and if i just now hit enter so now here you can see this is our php my admin web interface so here we can like uh, um, just uh, username and password we can log in this is the um, uh, web interface of our mysql database so uh, i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just feel free to comment us below thanks for watching this video